change yourself and others will follow, the samurai and the horse. When the Zen priest Bankei, 1622 to 1693, was still an acolyte, every night he would sit in meditation. One morning after meditating, he was resting by a stable when a samurai came along to train his horse. As Banke looked on idly, it became apparent to him that the horse was out of sorts and balking at its rider's commands. The samurai yelled at the animal and beat it. Banke shouted, what do you think you're doing? The samurai paid no attention, but only whipped the animal all the harder. Banke kept on shouting, until finally, the samurai dismounted and walked over to him. You have been scolding me for some time, I believe, he said quietly. If you have something to teach me, I am willing to listen. His words were exceedingly polite, but it was clear that depending on what kind of answer he received, he might erupt in anger. Without hesitating, Banke told him, it is foolish to blame only the horse for failing to listen to you. The horse has its own reasons. If you want it to listen, you must encourage it to do so. To do that, you must start with yourself. Do you understand? This was a humble and intelligent samurai, for he nodded, bowed, and left. Then, with a change of attitude, he remounted his steed. Sure enough, the horse too was now a changed creature, and docilely obeyed his every command. People constantly blame others for their own faults and find no peace. The essential thing is to take an honest look at oneself and correct one's own attitude. Do that and others will change too. Your home life is guaranteed to be happier. Okay, very good. I think these stories are very powerful in helping us understand that it's my own causes that produce my own effects. So we need to understand that like if we were the horse rider, the horse has its own reasons for not cooperating. We need to understand what are those reasons and remove the impediments or obstacles to horses cooperation with us instead of just focusing on what we want and then when we don't get it we get frustrated and project that frustration onto others that's very foolish and not a buddhist way so we need to practice mindfulness and paying attention to the karma of the mind speech and the body as we move forward towards uh, enlightenment which is the perfect of and best of all the effects we can ever experience. So good job everyone for being here practicing together. And uh, yeah, today's the deadline to apply for the webinar and uh, for next week. And also we have our advanced session at 10 a.m. Pacific and have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thank you.